So this is a tutorial on how to show steps on Apple Watch face. Well, the problem is that the official activity app from Apple works well, it is able to track steps, but you cannot display it on the watch face. It's just not possible to always see the amount, the amount of steps you've made on the lock screen of the Apple Watch. That's why a third-party app is going to be necessary for it. So the watch face that is going to be supported is any of them that supports complications and which is customizable. So if you can add a complication to a watch face, you'll also be able to add the complication with the steps for the Apple Watch. If the term complication is kind of confusing, well, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but it's nothing complicated. In fact, well, it's just the definition of the extension of watch face. It's something that you can add there, something like a setting, and for some reason it is defined as a complication. Anyways, so the third-party app which you can download to track steps and uh, display the amount of steps on the watch is, in my opinion, Pedometer++. It is a free app which gets the job done and it is very popular, so that's why a lot of people will definitely recommend you this app for whatever purposes. But it also comes with complications so you can display the data on uh, the watch. So definitely go ahead and download it to your iPhone and to your Apple Watch as well. So uh, yes, if you have the same apps that you download to iPhone also show up on the watch, you don't have to do anything else. But if not, then you just have to install them separately on the watch as well. Well, the thing is that it has to have an icon in the list or in the grid of your Apple Watch. The next step is to customize the watch face. So pick the one that you actually use and which also supports complications. So in my case, it's gonna be this one. And if you go to the edit mode, you're gonna be able to set different things for different spots around the watch face. So you'll be able to add complications. So let's click on something like this, on this area, and you can browse through all of the possible options. And if you scroll and find the pedometer plus plus, you'll be able to add the steps as well. In fact, there are a couple of options. So you can see uh, you can add uh, like a daily progress or a steps plus distance, but you probably would want to add the, the steps plus distance, of course. So you're going to tap on that and it's just going to be part of your watch face from now on. Every time you flick your wrist and take a look at it, you'll be able to see how many steps you actually have made during the day, what's your progress, and it's of course going to be updated automatically and all the time. There are, however, different places and different sizes of complications. It could be one line, it could be a rectangle, it could be a bigger one, it could be a square. And Pedometer probably supports all of them, but maybe it lacks some of the functionalities. But for most of the complications, you'll be able to make it work and you'll be able to add there the progress and the amount of steps of your day. So it shouldn't really be a problem. You should just play around with the watch face, find the one that you like and customize it according to your needs. If you needed something like uh, calories or uh, minutes of the workouts to be displayed on the watch, it would be best for you to use the native watch face for the activity. Like the uh, most accurate data is definitely going to be from Apple on uh, the Apple Watch, so the integration is going to be the best. But for steps, it's just not possible, and that's why we have to rely on the third party apps. And also, like I mentioned, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use this app for tracking the steps, but this one is recommended by a lot of people and of course it works, so that's why I also recommend it here. But there are definitely some other options that you can try out and make sure to see if they work for you, perhaps you get some more options with different apps, but this one is a safe way to go about it, I would say. So this will be pretty much it. I do not think that there is anything else that would be really important to add to this video. I really do think that um, I added or talked about what's really important. So hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you found this video valuable. In case you did, leave a thumbs up. This does help me and thus help the video, of course. And you can also leave a comment saying pretty much whatever you want. I reply to most of the comments most of the time. So chances are I will get to yours as well. Thanks a lot for watching again and see you guys later in the future uploads.